This is FYI on your TV brought to you by Hometown News. I'm Kathy Botham. I've got Sierra Miller with me. You're a realtor with uh, Royal LePage Advantage Real Estate here in Smith Falls. I am. But you've got many hats because you're affiliated with a lot of animal, animal rescues. Yes, I do. And we've got an event coming up uh, on July 8th from 11 to 4 over at Settlers Ridge. So let's yes. talk about it. Yes, so Barks and Brews, this is our second year doing it actually, so we're very excited. Um, it's put on by Royal LePage Advantage, my brokerage. Um, along with Four Degrees Brewing Company at Settlers Ridge. So uh, we're hoping to have a, a really good turnout this year. And last year you had, I think it, was, it takes a village? Yeah, it takes a village rescue? dog rescue, yep. Um, and so this year we're actually focusing on Lanark Animal Welfare Society as well as Furry Tales Cat Rescue. So each year we're gonna pick a different rescue to team up with and make sure we're sharing the love with everybody. So there's gonna be all sorts of vendors going on. I was there last year too and you had some animals there. Are we gonna have animals there this year? We're hoping to have mm -hmm. a few, um, just depends kind of what the rescues have uh, available for adoption. So we hope to have a few on site that are available for adoption to come meet and greet if anyone's interested in putting in applications for those animals um, and yeah we have a lot of a lot of great vendors lined up this year probably triple what we had last year Wow so the event is growing um, and I can't even name them all we have some phenomenal we have some pet groomers coming on site to do nail trims we have nice. dog treats we have leashes and collars we have matching scrunchies and bandanas we have some really good items for sale and you have a silent auction we do so uh, we also have some really good items coming in for that still um, I don't want to give any away yet, but there's lots of uh, gift cards for restaurants, um, some local shows, there's a lot of good items there too. Excellent, excellent. You know, and it's nice that you've, you're going to have laws and furry tales there, yes. or any animal rescue to be able to tell their story too, because yes. it's not just adoption, it's fostering, which you're doing a lot of too. Yes, so I'm affiliated with many, many rescues, uh, try and share the love where I can. Um, this kind of came to me after the pandemic, especially. Um, the shelters were hit really, really hard with uh, people adopting animals while they were at home and then going back to work and realizing they couldn't take care of them or didn't have the time. So rescues were hit really hard with um, a ton of animals coming in and a lack of fosters. So we just really wanted to help out where we could and make sure we were you know, financially and spreading the awareness as well. And, and I'm finding right now a lot of rescues are, are, are struggling right now because people during the pandemic thought they were at home for a long time, you know, they, they were homeschooling, they were working from home, they'll get a pet. Yeah. And now things are back to normal and they can't take care of their pet the way yes. they were able to. Yes, so we definitely saw, um, I mean, even the start of the pandemic, it was because the shelters had to close down, so most of them had to foster out those animals too. So it was a combination of trying to find fosters when everyone were, you know, going out and buying puppies and whatnot. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, we saw the shelters fill right back up, unfortunately, after the pandemic for people going back to work and back to their lives and realizing they didn't have the time. So it's unfortunate, but like I said, at least we can do a little something on our end of raise awareness and some funds for the, the shelters. Now, did I hear you say you're fostering a bunny right now too? <laughs> I am, yes, with Kingston uh, Animal Rescue. We have Chip, we've had him for a little while. He's currently looking uh, for his forever home, so. They're popular pets as well. <laughs> they all are. They it's are. hard, yes. and I would love to, you know, adopt them all, but then I can't continue to foster, unfortunately. So I have three dogs, so oh, well, my house is full. <laughs> you got a little farm going on as it is. My little yes. funny farm, yes. <laughs> so let's talk about the day again, too. You're going to show up at uh, Settlers Ridge uh, Center out in the parking lot. Yes. So yes. it's going to be a combination between in four degrees and out in the parking lot. Um, so four degrees, go grab a pint, uh, pet friendly patio, and they're going to have some live music as well. Um, so the mainland will be playing for a few hours. Uh, on site and then um, we're gonna have a great silent auction and then we're actually gonna have a little fun zone this year so Jump for Joy in Kempville has generously donated some outdoor items like cornhole, um, Jenga, Kerplunk so we're gonna have some games going, um, face paint, animal balloons, all that good stuff for the kids as well. And it, the vendors that you have too, the, these are going to be great for people who already have pets at home. Yes, so like I said, we have um, Sunflower Grooming on site, so they're going to be doing nail trims. Um, we have a few people who do pet care and pet sitting to come give out cards and meet and greet. Um, we have, like the support has been phenomenal. I'm really impressed and, and pleased. So we actually still have vendors trying to squeeze in. So um, yeah, we have a, I don't want to give too, too much away, but yeah, we have some really good vendors. Oh, excellent. Excellent. And you, you, I've, I've seen a lot on, uh, on social media too, about these people that travel around and do the nail clipping. Yes. That's a great service. It is. Especially, you know, sometimes it's hard. Some of the animals get a little worked up getting into the car. So if they can, you know, come to your home, um, this one that we have coming is a mobile one. And so it makes it a little, little stress-free on the dogs. Yeah. And I mean, sometimes when, when dogs go out uh, and sometimes I think cats get their nails trimmed yep. too, but, but uh, they, they go to the vet to get it done and that's a stressful environment. It can be. 
and getting your nails trimmed is not getting a needle or, or, <laughs> or a shot or anything like that, but they exactly. don't know that. No, so oh. if you know they can be at the comfort of their own home, it, it works a lot better. Excellent, yeah. excellent. So we're going to have members from our, our Lanark Animal Welfare Society yep. there and from Furry Tales there too. Yep. They're all great people and you're going to learn a lot about them and, and more about the yes. animals in need right now too. Yes, so they might have some merch on site to be selling. Um, they'll have some foster and adoption applications on site and you know it's just nice to chat with them and see what their needs are and uh, you know sometimes if you're just walking around you can make the connection and maybe you can help out in a way you didn't know you could. Absolutely, absolutely and I know they, they'd appreciate any donation to yes. them as well too. They, they need to feed and, and take care of vet costs yes. for their yeah. animals as well And that's too, very so. expensive. So. Yes, for sure, yeah. for sure it adds up, it adds up. Well, I appreciate everything you're doing. This is a wonderful, Thank wonderful you. event. I look forward to it again this year. You say it's bigger than last year? I think it's going to be quite a bit bigger. Like Excellent. I said, yeah, we've, uh, I, I would say at least tripled our vendors. Wow. Um, and then we've, uh, the silent auction, we've had a lot of, a lot of generous donations as well. So Excellent, yeah. excellent. Because last year was pretty good. It was. Yeah, it was a big silent auction. For your first yeah. one out? Yeah. Yep. Uh, yeah. This year I'm excited about a few items. Like I said, I want to give spoilers, but I think I'm going to save it. you got to come to the event to see what we have. Uh, is there still room for people to make donations to your silent of auction? Of course. Table? So. Always. We're always looking for uh, any any items. Um, and it can be always dropped off or I can pick it up as well. But our office is Royal LePage Advantage in Smith Falls. Mm -hmm. um, so it can always be dropped off there or you can reach out to me and I would be happy to pick it up. Excellent, excellent. And you do have a Barks and Brews Facebook page. We have an event going on Facebook, yep. Okay. Um, and we're hoping to roll it with a little bit more advertising to give a few of the vendors away and mm -hmm. uh, advertise the live music a little bit in the next two weeks, so. Excellent, excellent. It's only a short time away too. We're talking July 8th, yes. right? Yes, yes, it's oh. coming quickly. So um, last year was a little shorter, but we extended the event this year. Um, so it's going to be 11 to 4. Um, but yeah, bring your sunscreen, bring your puppies. Uh, we have a few free giveaways here and there too. So uh, definitely if you're walking around with a pet, you're yes, you're more likely it's to... It's pet friendly. Yes, bring your pets. Very yes, much so. Yeah, sure, we want to see sure. all the everybody out. Yeah. Excellent. Well, thank you very much for coming here today. Sierra Miller from our Royal Blue Page Advantage Real Estate and uh, Marks and Brews. Yes. Looking thank you so much. It. Me too. Thank you.